Hello, my name's Lauren and I've decided to do this video on Bristol University accommodation issues, um, problems and solutions because I'm quite well versed in it as I cleared into the university and went through three different accommodations, yep, three, uh, within my first couple of months of university. Um, so I understand the anxieties and problems associated with it and have some advice and as a second year now in a student house, extra tips and tricks about it. So um, a little bit about me is I'm a second year politics student. Um, on the committee, I really enjoy it, I absolutely love my degree. Um, the space department here is fantastic and if anyone has any questions, I'd, I'd be really willing to help with that. Um, so obviously when you get your offer from Bristol University, um, if it's your firm choice, you go straight through and can you know, start looking at the accommodation and they offer post uh, offer holder visit days. And it's really good to go have a look at that because Bristol is basically split into three type of accommodation campuses. So the main one is called Stoke Bishop and it's a 20 minute bus ride away from campus but once you're here, it sounds daunting but once you're here it's really really quite simple quick. I walked it every day just because it's a nice walk, it's a nice uh, separation of your studies and your uh, home life and most people walk and you can do a shopping on the way home. Second sort of campus area is city centre so it's dispersed amongst the rest of Bristol, the shops and the venues, the pubs and that has a similar amount of accommodation but again very very different they are like city style apartment blocks the third sort of campus is in clifton which is a very well-known part of bristol and it's sort of the more villagey side of the city um still considered a city center but it has dispersed housing including goldney which is a famous one so when you get your offer from bristol university i have quite a specific journey into bristol because of the five universities I applied to through UCAS, they were my only rejection, even though they were the university I really wanted to go to. So I had to firm and second my other two universities, which were Cambridge and LSE. Um, and the plan was that due to mitigating circumstances to my exams, um, I probably wasn't ever going to get them from results day. And I was going to plan to clear into Bristol. Now, if you have Bristol as your firm or insurance choice, um, the accommodation is really quite good, except in the past two to three years, they had oversubscribed their places and offered too many uh, insurance places and clearance places etc which led to my situation where in clearing there just simply weren't enough spaces in university accommodation for me and so I had to um, go into private accommodation and I must say the um, university accommodation officers were not helpful with this at all it was a traumatizing terrified time and luckily for me I knew people from home who mutually were in the same position as me and four of us managed to get private accommodation in the city centre. We left ourselves on the waiting list for this accommodation and managed to stay on it and eventually after months moved into Stoke Bishop. So my the first place I moved into Stoke Bishop was Durden as it was the only place available and it's a nice place, it's quiet um, but quite isolating if you don't go on with your flat and it's very hard moving into a place a couple of months after everyone's made friends, especially in Freshers, because it's a very uncertain time and people aren't really sure about who they want, who they want to make friends with and you know they're trying to socialise in the most efficient way possible. So I didn't enjoy living there because I felt quite isolated. However, I, I, most of my friends had lived in Wills, so I kept in good contact with the Wills accommodation team, um, waiting for a room to be available. And throughout the year, you find that the rooms drop uh, very quickly um, and there ended up being a lot of vacancies there due to study abroad students and due to people moving into other halls. And so luckily I got a room in my friend's block and next to my other friends and my other friends um, who have since I moved in with and we've become best friends at university. So yeah, I moved into Wills. So I've lived in two Bristol University accommodations in Stoke Bishop and one private accommodation in the city centre. Um, and each of these different places offer different experiences. Um, so Stoke Bishop is the main campus style of living accommodation in Bristol. It's up over the downs, about a 20 minute bus ride from university, but you're given a bus pass and it's very fine. I thought it was daunting and it put me off wanting to live there when I first transferred. However, I absolutely loved it. I would definitely pick Stoke Bishop if I was a fresher starting again. It's a 40 minute walk, uh, 30 minutes when you get faster, fitter from all of your hangovers. And I really quite enjoyed it. I ended up walking every day with my friends, sometimes alone. It's great to see a different part of the city that you don't really get to see when you move out in second year and it's a very easy ride. Stoke Bishop is also considered the social hub of accommodation, mainly because it's comprised of five to six halls and they will have their own bars and their own little communities and you sort of do the experience together because you'll have to get the bus in the mornings and the bus back in the afternoons. Um, it's very much a campus feel, very friendly, very inclusive and a fun journey in when you're refreshing and going on nights out. 
The second type of Bristol accommodation area is the city centre accommodations, which are dispersed in the city centre and are comprised of sort of apartment block buildings. They are considered quite isolating and more antisocial than Stoke Bishops, only because there aren't as many communal areas and spaces and you are alone with regards to the other buildings. You don't get socialised in that way. However, some people are staunch towards the city centre and the positives are that you're extremely close to university, you don't have to get up for a 20 minute bus ride, and you're close to all of the amenities and the clubs and nights out, etc, etc. Thirdly, the Clifton area of University of Bristol accommodation is comprised of halls such as Goldney and uh, Clifton Hill House, and I have to be honest with you, I've never lived there and you don't really mix with them if you're not from there. I've never met someone who, who's lived in the Clifton area, and I don't know anyone who knows anyone who lives there. But what I hear is that they have their own community feel, much like the Stoke Bishop Halls do, and they have a great time. They're in a really pretty part of Bristol. It's considered a, a villagey side to a city centre and is recommended by lots of people. So talking about Stoke Bishop, if we can rewind, it's where most students end up at Bristol because it's the largest hall segment or area. And I lived there for the longest time on my first year of my undergraduate degree. I first transferred into Durdham, which is popularly known as Duldham. However, it doesn't really live up to that reputation as the flat I got moved into very much enjoyed parties, very much enjoyed going out, missed most lectures for the whole of the year from what I heard because they went out a bit too much. And it has a, it has a great vibe because you're in flats of six, seven people and there's no communal area other than the bar, which is good. It's quite hard to socialise if you're not already in a savage friendship group there. But don't let that put you off. Uh, people in Durham are staunch defenders of Durham. And after living in Durham, I moved into Wills uh, because my friends lived in Wills and it was the best thing that ever happened to me. Going to and experiencing my fresher year in Wills Hall was absolutely amazing. It's a beautiful place, a great community. My room was bloody huge compared to everyone I knew at university and other universities. Although you have to share the bathroom, it's great fun. People always singing, you can hear them cross quad. It is really the best time. The communal dining aspect, the catered hall aspect, I was always so anti until I got there and the value of having communal dining and eating with your friends and if you've feeling a bit antisocial having to eat with people is really good it's really good fun and the formal aspect of it it's a beautiful place you get to dress up on, on the nights out there it's really really brilliant i loved it in the summer it's amazing you get to sit out on the grasses and the lawn some people play croquet there's tennis courts squash courts it's just really good fun i'd really recommend wills and i wouldn't be put off by the posh reputation either me being state schooled and council housed i never felt out of place although there were a lot of um posh people um it was always so friendly and you really feel like a community there, more so than other halls is what I've heard. And Wills actually has the best move on rate for people moving into the community in terms of getting uh, the least amount of complaints back to the accommodation staff once moved out of Wills into the surrounding area due to the community feel that you get there. So I'd really recommend Wills. To finish, I'd just like to say that clearing and even having an insurance place is really, really traumatic uh, for the least of us. And for the most of us, it's still nerve a bit nerve wrenching. Um, but don't panic, everything sorts itself out. Rooms clear really quickly at Bristol because people are constantly flitting between accommodation, like me. Some There's always a percentage of people that drop out and it's really okay. Stay on the waiting list if you can. Don't panic about being in private accommodation as there's lots of places. And the private accommodation I was in in the city centre, I managed to find friends, not from Bristol University, who are also in private accommodation, just in the city, which was a nice experience to get us out of the student bubble. Um, moving into second year, I can do another video about that as I live in the Redland area, which is the popular student area for second years and I love it, I live with my friends, it's great, um, definitely an experience that you need tips and tricks on too, so I'd be happy to share.